Hey, Duncan from 65 here. I've had a couple of queries about this. So here's a quick power tip for Google Drive. When someone shares a folder or a file with you to make it easier for you to be able to find that file for later. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video and it was useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down underneath. It helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps this channel and it helps us produce more of these videos. So let's get into this video. Where users share a folder or a file with you, you'll get an email notification. And what Google Drive does is it sticks it in shared with me. Uh, now you can access that file and that folder and that's great, but there's a couple of problems with that. One is, is it's actually a little bit difficult to find unless you remember to go to shared with me. You might be like, well, I, I definitely had a file I definitely had a folder, I know it came from somewhere. So you could find it in Gmail, you could find the invite and then go grab it from there, but it'll live and share with me. Now, you can have that appear in my drive and why you would like to have it appear in my drive is A, you have your probably your own organizational structure about how you organize your files and folders and you might wanna drop it into that structure. The other reason is you might want it to appear on your desktop in your, in your Windows Explorer or perhaps in your Finder tool on your Apple Mac. Do people still call them Apple Macs? I don't know, on your Mac. So in order to do that, you've got to be able to actually go and pull it over and put it in, into your My Drive folder. And it's a very easy thing to do. You can drag and drop it and just drop it into My Drive. You can also click, right click on the folder or the file and click on Add Shortcut to Drive. And then you can decide where you want to put it. So I'll just put this shortcut here in the bottom of My Drive. And you'll see that it's a shortcut because it'll give you a slightly different icon with the arrow around it. That's just to remind you that it's not actually yours, it belongs to someone else. The folder when you go into it is exactly the same as it was elsewhere, okay? So here's the folder in shared with me, and then here's the folder inside of my drive. You can see it says John Smith. So two different ways of doing the same thing, um, but what it does is if you create that shortcut, it makes it just a little bit easier for you to be able to find it within the context of your daily routine and how you organize your files in Google Drive. Also, if you like this video, please click the link below and go and check out the 65 Academy. We've got lots of videos for beginners in Google Workspace all the way through to power users and getting the most out of Gmail, Google Drive, Docs, Meet, and more in your Google Workspace subscription. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Duncan from 65, and we'll see you in the next video.